What's goody world? It's your boy Donnie Peoples. Right now we in a secret location, Atlanta, GA. About to really get deep into some stuff. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? The net is watching. It's always watching. And um, we about to interview one of the, the most, I feel, influential people in the hip hop industry right now, in the industry period, you know what I'm saying? And um, the great Professor Griff, I like to call him. And, and we about to get into a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying, from questions on his upcoming album to questions on the Illuminati, who is the Illuminati, and what's their whole motive in this big world takeover they're trying to do. And as we're all aware of, the health care bill got passed yesterday, and, you know, it's some major stuff about to go down. So us, Donnie Peoples, Deadbo TV, like I said, we're going to bring it to y'all raw, 100% uncut. That's the only way we can do it. So I'm going to bring it to you the only way I know how. Donnie Peoples here. The net is watching. Got my special guest here, the great Professor Griff. For y'all who don't know, a lot of y'all might be too young to know. You know, Professor Griff, the great public enemy, as y'all know. You know what I'm saying? And 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 to me, that was just like the last of the righteous era on, on, the, on the two. You know, ever since that era, it's been downhill. So, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad to see he's doing his thing still. He's still getting that message out to people like me that's still in their 20s. So we can carry it on for generations and generations. So without further ado, because I know I'm rambling along, <laughs> I want to introduce the man himself, great Professor Griff. Peace, greetings. How you feel? All right, my, All right, my brother. All right. So Griff, everybody who don't know, you know what I'm saying, we want to let them know what you got going on. Uh, for people who don't know, like I said, a lot of my viewers are young or whatever the case may be. Why don't you tell them where you're coming from and what, what you got going on? Um, That's a good question, simply because a lot of times when you talk about uh, where you came from, it's a it's an era, um, probably before anybody in this room was born. You understand what I'm saying? And uh, to tell people how it was, it's hard for people to grasp the whole concept of being out on Long Island. We call it Strong Island, and we seen the trains coming, the Long Island Railroad coming through, and on the trains, somebody had tagged their name or tagged some graffiti or tagged some kind of message on the train, and we seen it go by. And we're trying to figure out, okay, where's that train coming from, and what's going on at the beginning of that of that uh, that journey for that particular train. So it led us to get on the train and to follow it back to the Bronx. And we kind of figured hip hop was going on. You understand what I'm saying? Right. How did how did Jersey know the PATH train? How did all the trains and the subways that went underground and went to the Bronx? Uh, pardon me, out of the Bronx into Brooklyn, Queens, Staten Island, Governors Island, Reese Island. Long Island went all throughout New York to let people know something was going on in the Bronx. That shit took 10 years. Mm. 10 years. We heard it. We seen it. We seen the graffiti. We was hearing something bubbling under. We heard some things. But in order for you to understand and know, no one understand hip hop, you had to be there in the first 10 years. We understand a lot of us don't read. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But this is for those of us that do. As a matter of fact, this is the reason why we have to communicate through this medium. Because right. there's a lot of cats right now sitting back. Watching some porno shit, lighting L's, you know, drinking and shit. That's like saying, yo, I ain't trying to read that, dude. You understand what I'm saying? So we got to put it on YouTube for him. Break and, it down and, and, we see, and we see you. Right. We're going to get your ass anyway. Willingly or unwillingly, we coming for you. So you might as well just get in and say, okay, well, they here. So, yeah, you're going to commit one way or the other. So, you know, moving forward, um, I know you got a new album coming up. I, I, I definitely want you to speak on that. Yeah, definitely. It's called The God Damage. And it's with my band, The Seventh Octave. This is our second album. The first album is called The Seventh Degree. And uh, the reason why we call it The God Damn is because we didn't want to give people the definition of the title of the album. We wanted to say to people that it's called The God Damage and you determine what it is. I've heard all kind of uh, definitions. Uh, mine personally is, you know, we the gods. The person that's watching this, the sister that's watching this, she's, she's the goddess. Do you understand what I'm saying? We need to recognize the damage that we're doing to the God self. You understand what I'm saying? Absolutely. Um, hip hop came from the essence of the gods and goddesses. What look at we what we've done to hip hop? You understand what I'm saying? So it's the god damage. It'll be out 30 days from now, and um, I'm not asking people to go cop it. Shit, you gonna feel it anyway. It's, it's that <laughs> vibration that we putting up. You ain't got no other choice. I'm not being cocky or arrogant. Right. You understand what I'm saying? It's something that we gonna put out there, and you gonna hear it one way or the other. Well, I gotta use that shit as a frisbee at the family reunion or whatever. But you're going to experience it, seriously. 
so you know moving forward it's it's it's, it's some other things we want to talk about obviously this 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 getting a lot of play now is coming to the forefront people really wasn't aware of it even myself back in the day when Pac did the album Cluminati and I, I just thought it was just a catchy name or whatever the case may be, but now I'm aware. I'm like, you know, he was basically dissing the Illuminati. So I'm all, I'm automatically convinced that that's who got him killed, just by just by comparing both of the names. But, you know, for the viewers who are not too aware of the Illuminati, what is the Illuminati? Well, like real basic and like elementary teachings, the Illuminati simply means holders of the light, the torch bearers, the light bearers. Mm -hmm. Anything dealing with the light because they feel that they are the ones that's going to lead the way into this new millennium. So when you see the light bearers, you're actually talking about this uh, hidden hand, so to speak, of people who really, truly control things. So when you hear the Illuminati, it's the illuminated ones, the light bearers, the torch bearers. And the prime example of that is when you see the Olympics, they take the, the torch through every city in town, every city, and it comes to America and they pass the torch, that's a sign of the Illuminati. The Statue of Liberty is the sign of the Illuminati. Uh, shell gas station, the, the shell is not an actual shell, it's a rising sun. MasterCard, because they call themselves men of towardness, those that operate between the rising and the setting suns, because they're sun worshippers and they believe in the light. You understand what I'm saying? That they're the light bearers. So they leave signs and symbols. I could take out a dollar bill and break it down from top to bottom, back and forth. You understand what I'm saying? These are the people that hid themselves into, woven themselves into the fabric of every aspect of America. Politics, education, religion, every facet, every facet of America. I'm going to keep this, all right? All right. So like I was saying, right? Um, when you talk about the Illuminati hiding themselves, here you have the all-seeing eye on top of a pyramid acting as the capstone. You understand what I'm saying? Inside, if you connect the dots, uh, drawing out a Star of David, you'll see the word Mason. All right? Mm -hmm. um, but actually, the word Mason, if you scramble the letters around, is the ancient order of the noble mystic shrine. All right? But not only that, see, they hide cute little things like that because they know that we don't know um, the symbols, symbology. We're not symbol literate. So when you read it further, it says, uh, New at Coethus, which is Latin, Novus Ordo Seclorum, announcing the birth of the New World Order. Well, shit, the New World Order is already here. It's been this, this is about to play out. This is only worth eight cents. So you brothers out there that's selling drugs and killing people over this, stop that, man. This is, this is not even worth it. You understand what I'm saying? But we need to put enough of these together so we can buy some land so we can carve out our own destiny. Are you following me? You see the gentrification going on. Um, throughout every major city in America, they moving black people out. They taking over the inner cities. All right, that brings us to Haiti. That brings us to uh, Hurricane Katrina. Are you following me? So these things are going on right before our eyes. But one interesting thing about the dollar bill: in the corner, to the left of George Washington's head, if you fold it this way and this way, you'll actually see an owl that sits right in the corner, right above the number one. The Bohemian owl. Right. Um, this is which is their logo be, simply because the reason why they chose the owl is because the owl sees things in the dark. Mm -hmm. The owl is wise, and the owl always makes that particular sound called who because we don't know who. Are you following me? Right. But the owl represents the District of Columbia. That brings me to your friend, not mine, uh, Barack Obama. Barack Obama, you talking about Barry? Yeah, What's Barack, up, Barry? <laughs> Barack Obama is the uh, president of uh, a corporation and he's not the president of the United States of America. Absolutely. Their logo is the all seeing owl. Now, to prove that, I always say in my lectures that if you find any watch ad in any magazine, the time is always 10-10. Why? Simply because the District of Columbia is, is designed 10 square, 10 square miles by 10. That's the government, not everything else. That's what he's the president over, a corporation. What is a corporation's main a uh, entity that they buy, sell, and trade? You. Are you following me? You a useless eater to them. You a sheeple. Are you following me? Mm -hmm. Your birth certificate is worth six six thousand thirty six thousand six hundred six hundred and thirty four thousand $634,000. And this is what they use as collateral with Britain. And that's the only thing that they run in America. You're a human resource. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is why you have no rights.